it's great guys so i'm back again with another video and today we're just going to talk about the reasons why people don't want to say no to others and how you can start saying no in your life to things that aren't serving you at the moment especially friends family and work colleagues so keep watching to find out my tips i'm gonna get the shameless plug out of the way at the start here i'd really love it if you click the thumbs up to like this video leave me a comment down below about what your thoughts are give me a little bit of feedback as i'm starting this channel new and subscribe and click the bell button next to it to get the notifications of all my future uploads are three reasons why people always want to say yes to situations and never say no the first one is that they feel like it's rude it's not rude. If you've got a friend that's ever said, no, I can't come for brunch, or a colleague that said, actually, I can't help you with that project, I don't have enough time, or I've got other commitments at the moment, did you get really offended by them saying no to you? I literally never do, but for some reason, I convince myself that everyone else is gonna be super offended if I say no to them. But in reality, they aren't. People don't find it rude. If the person does find it rude that you said you don't have time to do something when it's not serving your purpose, you need to think about whether there's someone you really want in your life. Number two is that people don't wanna miss out. FOMO, FOMO is the biggest killer ever. Who doesn't want to go to that cool party, right? You need to think about, again, how is that going to serve your purpose? Have you got goals? Other things that you need to do? Other commitments? Are you trying to lose a bit of weight? Are you trying to be healthy? Are you trying to stop smoking, stop drinking? Are you trying to launch a little side project? Get a side hustle going? If it's not and you don't want to go, say no. Like, there'll always be another party. Now, the third thing that I think people always struggle with is the guilt and they end up saying yes anyway. So someone says, no, I can't do that. I don't have time or I'm trying to do this or I'm trying to do that. And you just feel so guilty that you've let that person down that you end up saying yes. So I'm coming in here in the middle of this video to ask you what your free things are that you really struggle to say no to. Mine probably when my friends ask me to go out for a drink, like always struggle to say no to that. Secondly is if a family ever asks me for a favor, don't really have to deal with that that much because I live in Australia now and my family is back in the UK. So that's not really a massive issue, but it always was in the past. And my third was always agreeing to extra hours at work. Previously, I did telemarketing. I hated it. And I always used to say yes to doing an extra shift when they would ask or yes to doing an extra hour when really I just wanted to go home, lock myself in the room and not talk to anyone for the rest of the day. So let me know what your three things are that you really struggle with. Leave me a comment down below. I'm also going to do a little poll up here and um, see which is the top thing that people always struggle to say no to. So my first tip on how you can start saying no a little bit more is to work out why you don't want to do that thing. So is it, for example, because you're scared to do it? Is it because you don't have time? Is it because it's not something you enjoy? You can't be bothered, you're tired. Like find out why you don't want to do that thing in the first place. Now, my second thing is that you need to give yourself permission to say no. You need to realize that it's actually okay to not want to do something in your life and that saying no is not a question of morality. Okay, it doesn't affect whether you're a good person or not. It really, really doesn't, even though you've probably told yourself that for years. It is just simply the fact that you can't do something that someone else has put upon you. Next, my biggest thing is to not dwell on it. Like literally, do not dwell. The more you dwell on the fact that you're gonna say no to someone, the likelihood is that you're gonna end up saying yes and you're gonna do something that you don't wanna do. So don't dwell, get it over and done with, tell that person there and then if you can, if it's that quick of a decision or ring them and let them know, text them, whatever you've gotta do. Okay, so now you're ready to tell them that you don't wanna do this thing. Honesty is honestly the best policy. And if anyone tries to tell you any different and that you need to lie and that it's better to just make up an excuse, come on, it's just crap. Something that I always used to do when I first started saying no to people was over explaining why I don't want to do that thing. So my cousins, they live like 48 hours away and they're flying over and like, yeah, I just need to see them because of this and because of that and blah, 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 blah. And oh my God, I haven't seen them since they were born. 
don't over explain if someone doesn't ask and you give them this full-on explanation they're always going to think that it's a lie so whether you're being honest or not it's not really the question when you're over explaining people always assume that you're lying you may or may not know this but 75 percent of all communication that we actually give off as humans together is actually non-verbal people can really really tell if you are lying or you're putting something off or you're giving them a like crappy excuse so just never do that because they'll be able to tell so honesty is always the best policy never over explain and just don't lie so hopefully that video is a bit more helpful for you. I know what it's like when you're struggling to say no to people, but really what it boils down to is trying to recognize that you need to live life for yourself a little bit more. That really is the main lesson that you need to learn. And until you feel comfortable being able to do that, you're never gonna feel comfortable saying no to people. If you like this video, I would love it, love it, love it. If you would share this with someone that maybe needs to hear it, leave a comment down below, click the thumbs up or click the thumbs down if you hated it. And lastly, make sure you subscribe because I did my content calendar the other day and I'm actually going to be uploading three times a week, not twice. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button to not miss out on any of my future uploads.